Sumit Singh and his wife, Jenny Slatten, recently piqued the interest of fans when it was announced they would be starring in the upcoming seventh season of 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After? Viewers first met Sumit and Jenny on season 1 of 90 Day Fiancé, the other way as they navigated seemingly insurmountable cultural differences to be together in India. The couple went on to star in seasons 2 and 3 of the 90 Day spin-off as well. After nearly a decade together, they finally married at the end of the third season. Fans were often disappointed in Sumit's lies and his inability to commit to Jenny. However, Sumit slowly won them over when he was finally able to stand up to his mother and marry Jenny against all odds. Even though Sumit has spent many of his last several years on television, there is still much to learn about his life. Sumit catfished Jenny Sumit first met Jenny back in 2012 when he created a Facebook profile for a fictitious Englishman named Michael Jones in order to meet American women. His catfishing scheme was successful as Jenny took the bait and began an online relationship with the man she believed to be Michael Jones. Jenny developed feelings for Michael, and eventually Sumit decided to tell her the truth. She was hurt but decided to continue the relationship, this time with Sumit, who she insists is cuter than Michael Jones. Sumit is close to his parents Sumit has a very close relationship with his mother and father. However, problems arose when his mother, Sadna, decreed that Jenny was not a suitable match for Sumit and would not give her blessing to their union. Sadna's cruel reaction to their relationship quickly turned her into one of 90 Day's biggest villains. Sumit explained that his parents' blessing was very important in his culture, and he would not be able to marry Jenny without receiving it. As a result, the couple had to work hard to prove to his parents that she was worthy of his love. At one point, Sadna threatened to disown Sumit if he went through with the marriage. She also threatened to harm herself if he refused to break things off with Jenny. Sumit was married before Jenny eventually, after years of dating, Jenny moved to India on a tourist visa to be with Sumit. She grew suspicious when, soon after her arrival, Sumit would leave her home alone for days at a time to visit his parents in a nearby city. Viewers were shocked to learn his sneaky behavior was only partially due to fear of his parents finding out about Jenny. It turns out Sumit was already married to another woman. He later confessed that his marriage had been arraigned, against his will, by his parents. 90 Day fans believed Jenny deserved better, but she did reluctantly take Sumit back. He ended up divorcing his first wife soon after. Sumit and Jenny have a big age difference Sumit is nearly 30 years younger than Jenny. Neither one of them seem uncomfortable with their age difference. They've learned to live together fairly peacefully together compared to many couples on the show, regardless of age. However, Sumit's mother, Sadna, is not happy about Jenny's age. Sadna is actually slightly younger than Jenny, which appears to fuel her anger over the couple's relationship. She's even said several times that she'd prefer for her son to marry someone his own age. Sumit has been with Jenny for a decade Sumit and Jenny first met on Facebook in 2012. They spent nearly 10 years trying to navigate being together. During that time, Jenny moved back and forth from the U. 
s to India several times as her visa kept expiring, and they weren't yet married, so she was unable to stay. The couple contended with Sumit's unhappy parents, his arraigned marriage, Jenny's protective daughter, and all kinds of legal and cultural obstacles. Eventually, they were able to marry, but every step of the way they were met with challenges. Sumit practices the Hindu religion Sumit is a devout Hindu. He often takes part in religious rituals, and ceremonies, and regularly uses his platform to explain the traditions of his religion to fans. Many stars of 90 Day want their partners to convert before marriage, but Sumit has never asked Jenny to consider Hinduism. In fact, at one point, Jenny offered to convert if it would help her chances of acquiring a visa to stay in India. Even though she never ended up changing religions, Jenny, who now officially lives in India, has taken the time to embrace Sumit's religious beliefs as well as his culture. Sumit and Jenny had a traditional wedding when Sumit and Jenny finally married in India, they incorporated many traditions from Sumit's culture. Even though they married in secret, both wore ornate traditional outfits. Jenny even rocked several pieces of beautiful green and gold jewelry, which were unlike anything fans had seen her wear before. The couple also followed the tradition of consulting an astrologer about their nuptials, and took part in a ring ceremony. Additionally, Sumit honored his culture by insisting upon his parents' blessing, which, as he learned, was hard to come by. Sumit consults an astrologer Sumit and his family regularly seek advice from their astrologer, Khalid. The practice is both cultural and religious and, during the reality show, it was very important to both Sumit and his parents that he speak to Khalid about his relationship with Jenny. However, Khalid surprised everyone when he didn't immediately side with Sumit's parents. Khalid ended up calling Sadna selfish for the way Shed treated Jenny. He was the only cast member able to talk any sense into the family's matriarch when he told Sadna to stop ruining Sumit's relationship. Khalid is among the many 90-day side characters who deserve spin-offs of their own. Sumit has a challenging relationship with Jenny's daughter Sumit's mother wasn't the only relative suspicious of his relationship with Jenny. Jenny's protective daughter, Christina, was initially very concerned about Sumit marrying her mother. She did not approve of the fact that Head lied to Jenny about his first wife, or that Head catfished her from the very beginning. When Christina and her partner, Jenny, met Sumit for the first time, they did get along with him. But it was hard for them to trust him as had been unable to stand up to his parents and he didn't seem committed to marrying Jenny. Christina even called Sumit's family toxic for the way they were treating her mother. Now that Jenny and Sumit are finally married, Christina continues to be supportive of her mother and is trying hard to make Sumit part of her family. Sumit loves to cook Sumit loves to cook. He even took a job cooking in a restaurant run by one of his friends right before the pandemic. Jenny has been vocal about the fact that Sumit does most of the cooking in their home. The reality star regularly wows fans with his culinary talents and posts delicious dishes on Instagram. Sumit has shown off his skills in the kitchen by whipping up traditional recipes such as curries, jalebi, pakora, and a cheese dish called paneer burji. 
Sumit's mother may have been unimpressed by Jenny's cooking ability, but it appears as though that doesn't matter as Sumit is the chef in their relationship.